Fareed, thank you. Thank you so much uh, for being here. Let's, let's talk India. You were born there. Uh, my people were temporary custodians. <laughs> uh, this is... This Tem was... Temporary self-appointed custodians. <laughs> And let's just be clear. That's a, we, we felt we were kind of inherently invited in some way. Um, that's basically the excuse of the British Empire. I'm sure you were... Uh, it was lost in the post. Yep. Exactly. Um, this, this was an amazing election. Uh, and it's been described, uh, the result, as either an exciting or a frightening time for Indians. Which is it? It's mostly exciting. It's a, okay. It is, I, I think you're absolutely right. It's an amazing election. Here's this guy, Modi, the son of a, a tea seller himself, you know, sold tea, really humble origins, uh, extraordinary disciplined politician running against a political dynasty really like no other in the world. I mean, this is Rahul Gandhi, the guy he was sort of running against uh, as, uh, for prime minister. His father was prime minister. His grandmother was prime minister. His great-grandfather was prime minister. It would be like Chelsea Clinton's uh, fetus having a child and then running... <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> 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 would, does it have to be like that? <laughs> could, could it not be a different image? <laughs> But everything about this election was different from normal. In, there's a great bit in one of your old books where you point out about Indian elections. Indian elections are not really national elections at all. They are rather simultaneous regional and local elections that have no common theme. But this changed this time, doesn't it? He has a huge mandate. This, this changed, and in a fascinating way. So rather than regional elections, what you ended up with was one big national issue. And the Congress party, the old ruling party, ran on really the default message that every third world ruling party runs on, which is, we're going to give you subsidies. We are, it's a kind of, you know, socialism uh, in action. And we're going to give you subsidies because you're poor, you're entitled to them. This guy said, I'm going to run on growth and good governance. I'm not going to give you anything for free. I'm going to, I'm going to try to get good roads, good electricity. And what he banked on, what he bet on, was that in India now, which is still a very poor country, there is an aspirational middle class that doesn't want to be handed government subsidies, but wants, you know, the infrastructure and the good, good governance that just produces economic growth. Right, that's interesting you say that, because the, the Times of India had a really interesting editorial yesterday where they referred to him selling the Indian dream, packaging the Indian dream to people. And look, look, we know the American dream is clear. It's catching something from a T-shirt cannon. <laughs> but what... <laughs> what... <laughs> What exactly, what exactly is the Indian dream? Is it just the concept of upward mobility? Yeah, you know, the, the truth is that when you hear about this, whether it's the Indian dream or the Chinese dream, they're all really just the American dream. The American dream was the idea that you will do better than your parents. We franchised it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's it. But, but it's like a supernova. Just as it's catching on everywhere else, it's imploding here at home. <laughs> right? It's like... <laughs> Why does every analogy you use have to be so appallingly negative? <laughs> I, this is HBO, isn't that's it? True, <laughs> that's true, that's true. We're, we're testing the limits. That's right. It's not, it's not TV, it's appallingly negative. That's basically... <laughs> uh, do, do you, do you, can, can you stick around to talk uh, online? Because this is a much bigger discussion we have time to get into here. As long as there are a couple more photographs you're going to post. <laughs> <laughs> I, the worst thing is, I actually have one worse than that, and I chickened out. But uh, <laughs> uh, if you want to watch an extended version of this interview online, go here. Uh, Farid Zakaria, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, we are off next week, but we will return the following Sunday. Have a fantastic two weeks. Good night.